Hey, this is J. Diana Masayo, and welcome back to Healthy People 2. Today, we are focusing on the tongue. Yes, what does your tongue say about your health? According to research, your tongue could be one of the windows to your health. It can give you clues as to what's going on in your body. It's a great indicator highlighting infections, stress, medication issues, and aging. These health issues can all leave their mark on your tongue with bumps, patches, and spots. We've compiled a list of 10 visible signs that speak volumes about your health. Number one, white patches. Creamy white spots on the tongue could be thrust, which could be a fungal infection. This happens after an illness or medication throws off the balance of bacteria in your mouth. White patches that look lacy could be lichen planus, an indicator that your immune system is attacking the tissue in your mouth. By incorporating beta carotene, green tea, vitamins A and E into your health regime will help relieve the symptoms of white patches on the tongue. Number two, hair on your tongue. If your tongue has a coating that looks like brown or white fur, it's possible that you might have hairy tongue. The hairs are proteins that turn normal small bumps into longer strands where food and bacteria get caught. If you have hairy white patches that you can't seem to scrape off, it might be oral hairy like a plaquea. This affects people infected with the virus like Epstein-Barr or HIV. Chewing on the stick from the guaco plant can help relieve hairy town. Number three, a black town. Black hairy town is a harmless condition that's caused by a buildup of dead skin cells on the tiny projections that contain taste buds. Potential causes include antibiotic and tobacco use. Symptoms include discoloration of the tongue, a furry or hairy appearance on the tongue, bad breath, and a metallic taste in the mouth. Treatment for black tongue involves brushing the tongue regularly with a toothbrush and avoiding tobacco products. Number four, bright red tongue. An early sign of Kawasaki disease is a bright red tongue. This is a rare but serious illness that is likely to show a strawberry red tongue, an indication of inflamed blood vessels all over the body. This appears most often in children and it's typically scarlet fever. If your red tongue is also smooth and you have pain in your mouth, it could be a sign that your body doesn't have enough vitamin B3. By incorporating niacin-rich foods into your diet, like peanut butter, avocados, and salmon, will help alleviate the symptoms of bright red town. Number five, smooth town. If you don't get enough of nutrients like iron, folic acid, or vitamin B, you may have a tongue without any small bumps and on the top may look glossy red. Infections, celiac disease, or some medications can also cause a smooth tongue. If you have patches of smooth areas next to bumpy ones, it could be a geographic town, which is an inflammatory disorder that usually appears on the top and sides of the tongue and could be linked to psoriasis. Incorporating vitamin B and zinc supplements into your health regime could help clear this up. Number six, burning feeling. Burning mouth syndrome makes the tongue feel like it was scalded with metallic or bitter taste. This usually indicates problems with the nerves in your tongue. Researchers have identified health problems like dry mouth, infections, diabetes, allergies to certain foods or dental products, anxiety, depression, and underactive thyroid medications such as high blood pressure medicines, mouth infections, and even nutritional deficiencies could be the cause of burning tongue syndrome. Natural treatments for burning tongue syndrome include drinking and rinsing with cool water for a few minutes, 
Sucking on ice chips or a popsicle to soothe the pain, rinsing with salt water, and avoiding warm or hot liquids which could irritate the burn. Number seven, bumps. Under the tongue is a common spot for canker sores which are small, painful, reddish bumps that come and go on their own. A single painful bump at the tip of the tongue could be a transient lingual papillitis, which is a painful inflammatory condition affecting the tongue. This condition is also known as the lie bumps. By rinsing and gargling with salt water, avoiding acidic or spicy foods, eating softer and smooth foods like applesauce, soups, and stews may be beneficial. Brushing your teeth after each meal and using mouthwash to reduce mouth bacteria could help clear this up. Number eight, soreness. Your tongue has lots of nerve endings, so it can really hurt if you bite or injure it. Some medications and infections can make your tongue sore too. Eating soft, bland, creamy foods, high in calories and protein, such as cream-based soups, cheeses, yogurt, milkshakes, pudding, or ice cream, will help soothe the discomfort. Soak in cold cereals in milk to make it soggy when you eat it, or soak in rice and pasta in sauces so that they are tender will be less irritating to your sore mouth. Chopping up meat, poultry, or fish into small pieces or putting it through the blender will also help to aid with pain associated with soreness of the tongue. Eating chilled foods such as popsicles, applesauce, flavored gelatin, and sherbet is soothing to a sore mouth. Avoiding tart, acidic or salty foods such as citrus and tomato based foods should be done because they can sting open sores. Avoiding rough foods such as dry toast, pretzels and granola because they can also be irritating to a sore mouth. Spices like chili powder, curry and hot sauces should also be avoided at all costs. Number nine, Macroplasia. It's when your tongue is too big compared to the rest of your mouth. It can take up a lot of room and imprints of your teeth on each side might be visible. Microglossia is linked to hypothyroidism, infections, or allergies. Speech therapy may be beneficial or a reduction glossectomy surgery may be required to reduce the size of the tongue. Treatment may also involve correction of orthodontic abnormalities that may have been caused by the enlarged tongue. Also, treatment of any underlying systemic disease may be required. Number 10, fissured tongue. Fissured tongue is a benign condition affecting the top surface of the tongue. A normal tongue is relatively flat across its length. A fissured tongue is marked by a deep, prominent groove in the middle of the tongue. There may also be small furrows or fissures across the surface, causing the tongue to have a wrinkled appearance. There may also be one or more fissures of varying sizes and depths. The exact cause of fissured tongue is unknown. However, it may sometimes occur in association with an underlying syndrome or condition such as malnutrition or Down syndrome. Fissured tongue is a harmless condition, usually with no associated symptoms. No treatment is necessary except to encourage good oral hygiene, including brushing the top surface of the tongue to remove any food debris from the fissures. Cleansing of the tongue helps prevent irritation and possible bad breath that may occur from food getting trapped in the groove. In addition to regular toothbrushes, numerous specific devices to clean the tongue are available at most pharmacies. Thank you for watching this video. Submit your comments and questions in the comments area. To hear about more healthy tips, please subscribe to the channel. Have a happy and healthy day.